Hey guys, here's my Hunter Silent Breeze and I'm showing it with a schoolhouse light kit on it. I got the fan from Mark Wilson and the light I just got in the other day from fan collector RJ Hayden. And yeah, this is actually fits the fan pretty well. I actually bought it from him for like five bucks and the fan was going to go in the kitchen. We actually, My mom actually agreed to put when we put one there, but when I showed it to her yesterday, she thinks that it's a bit too big for the kitchen. It does fit, but she prefers something smaller. And I do have to agree with her to the point that it is uh, it is better to have one that's a bit smaller. So uh, this fan was going to be installed once the hearing was repaired, but we're going to put something else. So yeah. Um, yeah, the fan that I'm probably gonna, we're probably going to put in the kitchen is probably a antique brass Westinghouse Petite. And I actually am totally fine with that because I know they're not crappy fans yet. They're pretty good at air movers for what they are. But yeah, I am a little bit, bit upset that this one's not going to be installed in the kitchen, but I figure it's better that way in some regards because it is a little bit big for the space. Like, it'll fit, it doesn't hit the cabinets, but it's a little bit big for the space. And so, it feels like in a little bit, if the kitchen wasn't that sm small where it is, it would probably be better. But I think a 32 inch fan is a lot better for where, it, where I, we need it. <clears throat> All right, let me show you show the light. Yeah, as you can see, it does work. Um, yeah, this fan really does look nice with the schoolhouse light on it. But once I have my own place, I'm definitely gonna put this in the kitchen. And I'll probably put the Westinghouse somewhere else. But I definitely, I kind of do want a Westinghouse petite, especially an antique brass. I really do like the look of it. So yeah, I am kind of happy that we're probably going to, that's probably the only thing that will really work well in the kitchen to our approval. So yeah. Let me go ahead and um, <clears throat> start off on no. Um, yeah, and I didn't, I did just buy um, Hunter Coastal Breeze from fan collector Mark Welker. It's 40 four inches and it's white so that will be coming in soon probably in time for my birthday and I also did buy a 42 inch Hunter Summer Breeze from John Reed I'll post a video of both of those fans in the description below sorry my mom's talking right there but it's not to her brother who came for her friend a friend's wedding he's the best man so I'm gonna be going to the wedding later on today but yeah this my collection is basically complete for as of now. I can't really have any more fans. But she even my mom actually did say she wouldn't mind having this in her bedroom. So this might go. Does have a good roll speed. I took off the little end piece on the things on the poaching so it won't get stuck. But yeah, I really like the light on it. It looks pretty good. Alright, let me move, show it with the light on. It actually does have a bit of a hum. I actually don't remember it having a hum last time. Yeah, it would be, I actually do think it would be a bit big for the kitchen. Like, it would fit, but there's some fans, like, it's almost like it barely fits in some ways. Alright, now for medium. It's kind of like if I put it in my bathroom, that, it would barely fit. Like, a 42 inch pin would be good, but if it was just, it's just a little bit too small of a room for it to go there. I kind of do like it when fans have a little bit of a hum to it. Yeah, but yeah, sorry about the noise. I can't really do anything about it. 
So yeah, guys, if you think this should go in my mom's bedroom instead of the Hunter Discovery, let me know in the comment box below. Yeah, I actually, um, the Discovery could go, but she she wouldn't she doesn't mind having this in there. She said. But a Discovery, I think, would be a better air mover, to be honest, since it has a power mask. Or an air mask, power mask, I forget what they call it, but it's the same exact motor as the low profile and the Hunter's Password 2. <clears throat> Let me show it with the light. I really do think it looks a lot more vintage with this light on it. Yeah, it does have a bit of a hum to it. And it's not a big deal. I do like hum. I like it when they hum a bit. Alright. Now for high. I'm glad that it wobbled a lot on high. Yeah, that's just I think shakes a ton. Alright, let me shut this off before it shakes more. Yeah, it's definitely a wobble that makes it do that. I also think she might just want a fan that's not too powerful for the kitchen. That might be the other reason. But she is the one who spends her time in the kitchen, so I gotta respect her decision. If it was my choice, I would put this, but... Yeah, I can't always get what I want. <laughs> well, at least you want me to put a small one in there. That's good enough for me. Maybe SMC Laguna, but eh. Ceiling fan page, he has one that's in white. I would put that, actually, but... We don't have a thing that sucks up the grease, so that fan would probably get all, the white would probably get all yucky-ish, so I, yeah, I need to get a Westing up, how it's petite, and I need one that's flush mounted, I can't really flush mount that fan, because if I have it a little bit lower on a downward cabinets, when they open up, they could hit it, so yeah, this fan, I'll save it for the future, probably in the bedroom where the, um, I'll just have it for my own place, this fan is definitely going to be used when I get my own house, so, Look forward to that in the next four or five years. Alright, it's coming to a complete stop, and now will be the end of this video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed.